All right, guys. Today's video, we're going to be using the LX25 Wood Miser. It's the entry level sawmill that we bought here for the Lighted Path Ranch, and it's working out great for us. A lot of bang for the buck, especially at uh, pre inflation prices. But we've been milling a lot of five quarter board for board and batten siding and, and such like that. And we're going to mill some more today for to build some stalls for some staples for our sheep. Take you at, we're also going to mill some old uh, tree that's been down for 11 plus years, red oak. That was, uh, you already see it stacked up over there, but don't pay that no mind. We're going to mill some of that today as well. Let's go. All right, guys. We got the pine log up on the wood miser mill. These are accessories bought, they're log loading ramps. And I don't like them. I had to do it again, a piece of two by four. We've actually used two by four or any kind of timber cut to size would work just as good if not better than these things. We're using real slimy pine that the bark's already released on, but I've tried even oak with a good grippy bark on it. And they don't even want to start on it. And once you get it up on there, it just spins between each one of these cleats that pop up that keeps it from rolling back on you you might could it might would help to get some stair tread grip self-adhesive stuff and glue on these in between and on these pads but i really don't think it would be worth the while we're going to eventually put a removable post over there with a winch a strap winch and have the strap wrapped around the log and just winch it up that way use the forks that we haven't built for the tractor for the smaller logs and set them on there but until then we use these here dogs, which are heavier than a two by four would be to move around. So wouldn't do that again. The idea is nice, but it doesn't work. Not for us anyway. So these log stops are on, I got it in place. They're lower than what some people would put them. Actually, I got to raise them up a little bit because my carriage is going to hit by there. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a pass on the top. Give me a flat surface, rotate it 180 degrees. Make another pass, take that log side off, it'll give me two parallel flat surfaces. And I'll rotate it 90 degrees, make sure it's good and square, adjust my stops to give me that squareness. Make a pass, then rotate another 180 degrees and that'll give me a good square log camp. And then I can buzz it and make my five quarter boards out of it. Another thing I do is for every gallon of water I put in my lubricant reservoir, I add a half a cup of pine saw. I think it helps the science behind it in my head is it helps the water co cohese to the blade to help cool it and lubricate it but it also this this soapiness of it keeps the pine tar the sap from the log from building up on the blade and getting gummy and that I know works. My blades never gum up they'll dull before they ever gum up and I honestly I put it if I cut oak I put it in there too just because I don't think it can hurt all right, I'll put you on the tripod and get this thing going. Now I'm going to rotate this cant and come in here when I flip it 90 degrees and cut this wavy side off and make a square edge. Since all this was cut with a dull blade, it's not very straight at all. First, I think I'll take one more pass off of this wide side and get it to the width that I want it.
Well, we got our two pine logs milled up. It's actually some nice looking pine wood there, good grain in it. Our LX25 did a great job, especially with a good blade on it. Even got these here wider boards, just kind of a board with the wane on it. And you know, just cracks, whatever, thickness is not right. We take these and we stamp chalk lines down them and resaw them with a skill saw and use them for whatever we need in the moment as we need them. Nothing goes to waste. Even the, some strips are made into stickers, some are made into kindling to start fires in the wood heater. Got some more eight foots over here. We got all red oak. I inserted a picture of one of them with some water on it. Nice slabs down in the bottom down there it came out of that old log. No telling how old that is. It's been at least been on the ground for 11 years, long before we ever bought the land. We've been looking at it as a piece of trash wood just laying there, a big old log by our gate, and was wondering what it looked like on the inside, but now we know. Well, guys, apparently we're in the middle of a monsoon right now in a lot of Pass Ranch. So we're forced to do the outro from inside the Vampire Barn. We hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. And as always, God gets the glory for the good in our lives, and Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. God bless. Mm -hmm.